There's so much attention on the Western Conference in the NBA, and that's understandable with the Warriors and Spurs, but there's plenty to talk about in the East. I'm Brian Clark at Cinesport, doing just that with Brian Mahoney. He's a national basketball writer for the AP. And Brian, let's look at the Cavaliers. They've won five straight. How much of that has to do with just getting Kyrie Irving back on the floor? What does he bring? Well, explosiveness. Uh, one of the you know most dynamic point guards in the league. Uh, over 120 points last couple games. You see how good they can be, and you know, he's the reason I picked him to win a title this year, I think. I think people sometimes forget how good he is. I think he's almost underrated, which sounds a little silly. He's an all-star, but he had the two highest scoring games in the NBA last year. So this is a guy who, when you put him on the floor, with the fact LeBron, two guys can spread the floor. You have the outside shooting with the way J.R. Smith's been shooting the ball and Kevin Love. You know, there is certainly the best team in the East, and I think they can compete with the two best teams in the West as well. So the Cavaliers picked by almost everybody to at least reach the Eastern Conference Finals. The team they beat earlier in the week was a team a lot of people thought they'd play in the East Finals. That's the Wizards. Instead, they're just sitting in 12th right now. What's gone wrong in D.C.? Well, you know, I think injuries have hurt them a little bit. Certainly with Beal being out, you're talking about having your second best player not being there for, for quite a while. And, you know, Nene's been hurt as well. I mean, it's I, I didn't like them as much as some other people did anyway. I don't think they're a top four or five team in the East, uh, but... Uh, certainly, I think they should be better than they were. The way John Wall's playing, you'd like to think that could certainly add a to our wins, and it has. But uh, I just didn't think they were losing. I thought Pierce over the summer hurt them. Uh, a guy who meant so much late-game situations, and they don't have that anymore. And I think it's showed, unfortunately, for them. Of course, the Bulls, a lot of people expect a lot out of them, maybe the Raptors. But if you look outside of the top teams in the East, is there a team that jumps out at you as somebody who looks poised to maybe go on a long run in the playoffs? I mean, ultimately, I wouldn't pick anyone outside the top couple teams to, to really win the East. But, you know, if I had to look outside and say, OK, this team can maybe win a round or two and, and be a tough out, I guess I would look at either Detroit or Charlotte. Uh, if they were healthy, uh, both teams have really good point guards, uh, really, really good big men uh, and very good coaches in Steve Clifford and Stan Van Gundy. And, you know, in a playoff series, I think they could be a team that could cause some problems, but ultimately not long enough. To, you know, to be a team that could be a conference final type team, but certainly one who for a round and a half maybe could, could really pose some problems. That's Brian Mahoney, AP NBA writer. Thanks, Brian. Thank you, Brian.